Uh, wow, I dug quite a bit through here. I wonder why I stopped. Heard a zombie pig man. Where was that? Oh, there we go. Let's head towards the zombie pig men. They're it's either in the surface or in a cave, one way or another. There may be glowstone. <coughs> Looks like I'm on the sur on a, the surface. Although this actually is very good. Red mushrooms is precisely what I needed to get my mushroom farm up and running. Okay, now, it's very easy to get lost, especially when you come out of the ground like that. So it's a good idea to set some sort of obvious marker so you can see where the heck you came from. Because otherwise, because of the terrain and the lighting, that hole, yeah, you're not going to be able to tell there's a hole there. Man. I saw some lighting up there, but I, I, which I was hoping was glowstone, but it looks like that lighting is just fire. But I have to check it out just in case fire. Man, there's some glowstone over here. Is there something? Oh, good, 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 good. It's a pretty secure area as well. There's a ghast over there. Whatever. But it's a pretty enclosed area. I can pretty easily block this off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful bear people. You just you just relax, okay? Just relax. I'm just minding my own business, okay? Just relax. I'm not bothering no one, man. I just I just want to live my life. Calm down. See, the problem is it can still kind of sniper me since it's up there that I'll be. I don't want to him being able to shoot through that little gap. So I'm just going to just build this wall all the way up to the roof. The thing with these gases, I mean, the projectile is slow. So in that respect, they're not too bad. But they have no reload on that thing, man. They can fire it non-stop. Okay, where is that? Oh, there we go. I had more netherrack and I was not even aware of it. Whoops. The thing with their explosives is they're actually very weak explosives. Um... They won't destroy cobblestone. They'll destroy netherrack, but netherrack is a very soft material. But cobblestone, yeah, they, they can't destroy it. I've seen some people make their nether bases out of freaking obsidian. And I'm like, that's overkill to the extreme. They really should do some testing before they, you know build something out of something so elaborate. Oh, and this is nice. I actually have a side door I can use if I want to access the outer world. So while I sealed that up to ensure my safety, I've actually I've not sealed myself out of it. That's that worked out really well. Okay. Still recording, thank goodness. See, and that's actually what happened in my last Remnant Let's Play. I've not uploaded the video yet. And I probably won't for a while because it's pretty far into the game. But I had this super epic boss fight. I mean, it was insane. I'm, was, I'm surprised I managed to beat it. Um, 
at the end, finally beat it. I'm all like, woo! Awesome! Epic! Decide to call it quits. Sign off and all that good stuff, right? Check, press F9 to stop the recording. And rather than start, stop the recording, it starts the recording. I'm like, what? Turns out the game glitched. The freps glitched before the boss fight. Literally before the boss fight. Add to load an old save and fight it again. And of course by then, even though it was the same build for all of my um all of my characters and everything, I tried to keep it exactly the same. Bought the same number of health healing items, everything. I had a much easier time because I had already done it, you know? And it takes away from the blind aspect, which is the whole point. So, I was upset about that. I'm not sure if you can tell. I'm still kind of burned by it. I just, yeah. But, at least now, I was actually upset at myself. Because I thought that maybe I messed up somewhere down the line, you know. That I maybe pressed F9 twice by mistake or something but this kind of validated that it was not my fault that fraps acted up and actually I think I've heard about stuff like that happening before to um, Paul Soros Jr. who's a great let's player by the way I highly recommend anybody who watches this check him out as well and if you know if you go over to his channel and you uh comment or subscribe what have you just you know let them know that I sent you but you know don't be like oh you know everybody check this out or anything I don't want pity subscribes or anything <laughs> if you so to speak alright so that's done I can now set up a proper mushroom farm it's not very efficient obviously it's not I can make this bigger if I wanted to I guess um, I've got an extra mushroom here I guess I'll just expand it and have three and three for now and then I can slowly expand it eventually I'll have something you know proper you know, a decent mushroom farm, not something kind of... This is a pretty hokey mushroom farm, let's face it. It's just like, slapped together, not very elegant. It's just, it does its job, and that's all it needs to do, you know? But, our emphasis is on my home base. Now I can actually heal myself using mushroom soup, which is some of the best healing item in the he healing items in the game. Um, let's see. Got six bones. It's night time. I do need to gather some more wood. All right, I'm going to go to sleep. And end the episode here. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Minecraft. Bye.